Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant. We are back for some more Pathfinder Kingmaker on Unfair and Last Islanti. We are going to approach the city of Hollow Eyes. For this, we are going to start by buffing up, as there are many, many enemies in this area. Assuming I'm thinking of the right area. And we are going to murder everything in sight. And try to make sure that our buffs last as long as possible. I do need to change something, I think, in my in my buff mod, because I did swap out a spell. Uh, let me see, I think it's medium duration. Exactly this one, yeah. Bears Endurance on Knock Knock, but now she doesn't have this anymore. So I'm just going to delete this one. And I'm going to add a new spell. The caster is Cordampina. The spell, I think, is level 6. Ah, it doesn't show up here, damn it. She might not have it memorized. Uh, let us not hesitate. Yeah, she doesn't. Okay, let me see if this works. Bonded holy symbol. Now she does. Does it work? Wait. Um, err. Reload. Medium. Okay, so this was a way. New spell. Caster. Cordampina. Spell. Level 6. Yeah. Okay, so bears endurance. And the target can be herself. Okay, finish. Save queue. Save. Close. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so I think our long duration buffs have been applied. Let's go for medium duration. Should we start using my, my wyvern before I buff up? But, oh well. And I am going to try something out here that I think I've been mistaken this whole time. <clears throat> Hopefully it won't be too much of an issue, but it does make me feel a little bit silly. And overall, I might have just been wasting experience on everybody by doing this. Uh, but I have to test it first. I, am yours to command. I will explain what I mean in a second. So did we all get the... Um, Bears Endurance. Yeah, we did. So our mod is now working correctly. We're gonna find some barbarians. Hello. This place is awful. It clearly wasn't meant for humans or the living, really. There we are. Some enemies. And what I want to see is... <clears throat> so there's a zombie cyclops right there. My character, and I need a, I need my need my little notebook for this. I'm just trying to confirm what I saw online, what's already been said in some comments. Is it one nine nine one six six experience? Okay. So currently, I have been playing with only active companions of experience. But what was told to me in the comments, and I kind of also checked online, is that this only really matters if you are under six people in your party. If you have six people in your party, it's the same thing as having this off. Except the people that are benched will also get some experience, which is much, much better. But the UI kind of deceives you in that sense. So I want to see. With only active companions um, receiving experience... We're gonna try and kill one of these Cyclops. And let's not get killed, please. Okay, <clears throat> so we killed one. We got 540 experience. I went from 199166 to 199256. So this means... So, 540 divided by 6 is 90, plus 199166, goes up to 199256. Okay, 
So now, if I turn this off, save, we're gonna kill this guy. It says we only got 112 experience. We are at 368. What the hell? Okay, I'm kind of confused now. Huh. Wait, I'm doing math incorrectly. One, nine, nine, three, six, eight. Let's kill one more. Let's actually just buff us up as well before we get ourselves killed for no reason. Uh, okay, I think they are worth different amounts of experience. So this one just says 90. And if I go over here... <clears throat> it's 199... 458... Minus 199368... 90, yeah. <clears throat> so basically... <laughs> We are getting the same amount of experience, but the combat log, if you have... If you have this off, it will show the amount of experience that your character got, or that each character got. But, if you have this on, it shows the total amount of experience gained. So I should have been playing with this off this entire time. Well, good to know. Now, let's not get ourselves killed, let's focus on what we're doing, because Cyclops deal tremendous amounts of damage. And they also cleave. One very cool thing about them, though, is their reflex saves are very weak. So the bombs from Juby are gonna be very good. And Knock Knock got smacked. <laughs> Where did they get smacked, and for how much? Knock knock deals. Well, I'm not gonna go up too much for this. But I'm guessing that this, the damage he took is from a single hit. Because they do deal a lot of damage. <clears throat> well, at least now this way I don't have to worry about people benched, not getting experience. But yeah, I've been playing this wrong for years. Wonderful, good to know. <laughs> um, 30 seconds of haste, let's go for another fight here. Basically, we're gonna be killing Cyclops and bandits and whatnot in the entire area. Do you have your armor on? Thank God. Another one. So, 17 seconds. I am your shield. We're going to be using Inspire Courage and not Dirge of Doom because these Cyclops are undead and as such they are immune to mind affecting. <clears throat> Let me make sure I'm saying this right. Zombie Cyclops, he is undead. Yeah, immune to mind affecting, so no bother going for um, Dirge of Doom. I'm gonna start playing with Knock Knock a little bit more carefully here. Because things can go very wrong for him. Alright. Like I mentioned before, I'm gonna check out the loot. I will check out all of the loot afterwards. I can see because I want to try and make sure I use my buffs to the full extent. Uh, I forgot this, as I usually do. 
Okay. You require my assistance? Without a doubt. Let's go. I'm listening. Sing. I am yours. Charge. Using it wrong. Who's there? The last two. What is my kitty cat? Kitty cat. Are you still alive? Yes, you are. Together we stand. A clever ploy. Uh, turn this off. And turn this off also. That is a lot of people. But they're kind of fighting each other. I can help out, I guess. Lovely. Oh, 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 oh. Get out, get out. Thank you. Gotta heal him again. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go for the stone skin here as well. I mean... I think I'll feel safer with the stone skins once I purchase some more um, diamond dust. I don't have a lot right now. Or maybe it's in my stash also, in the barony. I wonder. Zombie Cyclops. Uh, you should have this on. I keep forgetting. 1 minute and 30. Sing. Charge. Where to now? Don't hesitate. Listening as hard as I, I can. See this through. Priest. Hmm. Actually, toss it for this one. Yeah, the, I don't. I don't like these divine zombies. Uh, where is knock knock? Dangerously close. Don't like it. Not one bit. Good. Uh, knock, knock, you can kind of get away from here now. Okay, let's control this. Okay. Ooh, that's bad. That's, that's bad. That's very bad. That's an ambush, you bitch. Um... I don't want her to take an attack opportunity, but I'll send my leopard in, I guess. I'm leaking red all over myself. <laughs> my dude. Okay, run away. She's getting hammered. Yep. This is what we get with Cyclops. Where am I? I'm over there. Focusing on the leopard, that's good. Cordon Pina. Let's toss out a heal. Knock, knock, go help over there. I'm just thinking what I want to do here. I guess I'm going to go for a quickened fireball in this area. Get away from there. Okay, turn this off. Valerie got healed. Cordon Pina, shoot over there. Dead. Dead. You still have mirrored images, which is good. Quicken, Scorching Ray. Try and bring him down. What? Oh. Dead, good. Oh, he's gonna go for that. I hate that. Kill him! Yes! Bitches. Bitches! <laughs> oh, I love Cyclops. 
I love them so much. Uh, where is my thingy? Thingy. Here. Let's heal up. We are back in the fight. <clears throat> Drink that. Kind of forgot. I am your shield. Mirror image, you still have it. You do have it. How is my haste? 51 seconds, we can still play. I can see my okay. Bandits, we don't really care too much about. Am I missing someone? No. Sing, charge, 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 charge. Let us not hesitate. There's a bard. Together we stand. Primitives. Chastener. I don't know what this is. Don't know what that is. You utter bitch. I mean, I hate these bards casting slow. <clears throat> Just cancelling my haste. <sighs> Haste this again. Keep going. I think there are some more Cyclops in this area here. There's one. I'm listening. Sing. Go. Give the order. You guys just go, don't charge. Dead. Uh, who else is coming? From over there. Ferocious Dread Cyclops. Leopard, bite! Let us strike as one. Okay, the game paused because more enemies are coming. Okay. I also want to see... Well, first of all... Let's toss this over there. <clears throat> and you toss this over there. I want to see that attack chance against my leopard. Leopard. Uh, I want the first one. First one. This guy rolled a 30. Really? I thought it would roll a lot more. Or a lot higher. Still. They need a 20. To hit my leopard. The problem is if they hit, they kill him. In one shot. That's the general problem with... Uh, with Cyclops. Okay, uh, back up. Go. Okay, now everybody can go. I hate that we are locked in place. Okay, he went down, so I think we should be safe. I do wish you could reach him. You 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 are enlarged. Okay, well, <clears throat> that works. What else have we got here? I think this place is trapped. Yep, okay, my memory served me. Probably because I, I I tripped this at some point in my life. I did. Okay. Without a doubt. Ferocious wargs. Not very concerned about those right now. I think we're at that point in the game where wargs aren't really that troublesome. I say this before I die. <laughs> okay. I, I think they're fighting something over there. This guy is kind of messed up. I think I will just I am charge in. With Dirge of Doom? Knowledge is the key to victory. Sure. Okay, let's go. 
Don't hesitate. Any fun uh, you do not charge. You stay over there. And you can like toss an acid bomb over there and you can start shooting people. Yeah, they're fighting the Cyclops, I think. Okay, so for this, we're gonna go for that. You're gonna aim at the Cyclops. You are gonna aim at the Cyclops. Knock Knock is gonna go to the edge of the fight. Okay, let's be careful about who meets the Cyclops here. I'll send the Leopard in. These guys have a lot of HP. Okay. Bring him down. Dude, come. Can you kill him, please? Thank you. Okay. Took longer than expected, I will say. Okay, more hidden stuff. If you like fighting, this is a good area for you. 21 seconds should be more than enough for a random fight here. Okay, they're fighting bandits. Knock, knock, can go to the edge. Good. Good. Um. The game paused for a reason. Oh, I think it's detecting these dead people. Weird. Wolves have gnawed on human corpses, but not the undead. I think that, yeah, there's a conversation here. These guys are not very friendly. My skills are getting rusty. As is to be expected. There might be a way to do this peacefully, but since I don't exactly remember if there is or not, I'm gonna cast displacement on my leopard. Just to try and make this go a little bit smoother. And send him in. Knowledge. Two Cyclops are having a heated dispute in their rough language. They stomp their feet, pound their chests, sputter, and pay absolutely no attention to anything else around them, in yourself included. Let's try and decipher their speech with a knowledge check of 30. You manage to make out some of the Cyclops' speech. Mine, not yours. The Cyclops is yelling and shaking his fist. I saw it first. Go away. You go away. I'm not giving it up. Hmm. Move closer. The Cyclops turn to you, furrowing their bushy brows. Hey, you insect. What are you doing? Get out of here before you step on you. Knock Knock leans in and whispers. They not want you and Knock Knock there. Something brewing, I tell you. Arcana skill check passed. Try to puzzle out the Cyclops' behavior. There doesn't seem to be anything unusual about the stone itself, but the Cyclops believe it to be a great treasure. It seems reminiscent of an enchantment spell. The ancient builders of this necropolis must have used the obelisk to create an inconspicuous but deadly trap. Any Cyclops who got close enough would stay here, entranced by the obelisk, until they fell dead of exhaustion or starvation. Fortunately for you, spells like this typically cannot target all sentient creatures, but rather need to be keyed to target a specific kind of creature, for instance, Cyclops. Let's use Detect Magic. The stone reads a powerful enchantment aura. So if I use the spell magic, what, will they just turn hostile? Let's find out. Uh, you know, I don't really need this rock. You can have it. Me? Why would I want it? You take it if you want. I'm not going to drag this stupid stone around. Brother, all this war arguing has made me hungry. Looking at you, the Cyclops like the lips and begin moving toward you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Makes sense. 
So these Greater Cyclops, they have 44 strength. Let's make sure they are focusing on my Leopard, as usual. Let's go for Force Bombs here. I would imagine they have a lot of Fortitude, but I would also expect low Will score. They are not undead, which is relevant. Go for Divine Power here. I'm kind of afraid of these guys. Invis yourself. <clears throat> Invis Knock Knock. And Valerie. Sing Dirge of Doom. Uh, knock Knock, wait. Okay, Knock Knock is Invis. They don't seem to be using Cleave. Unless they have Greater Cleave. Actually, their Reflex score is the lowest one. Which is good for me. Okay, so Knock Knock, go over there. I think I can just send you in as well. If they are not cleaving, I think I'm fine. Could go for a Grease. <laughs> I mean, how how stupid would that be? Not not much, right? But if I, if I have Force Bomb, I think I'm okay. Let's just deal damage here, I think. Okay, you move in as well. Oh, he went down. Bitch, you suck. Let's go for Spell Combat and go for Shocking Grasp here. I think you can swap to this, since this guy is going to go down very soon. Uh, let's toss force bombs over here now. And everything else seems fine. Dead. And he's dead. Perfect. Let's see, I'm guessing we should be about done with all of the enemies here. Oh, no, no, no. <clears throat> there are banditos. Uh, actually, come, come down, come down. We're gonna go this way. Uh, I saw an alchemist there. So resist fire. My haste has a lot of time left still. Let's just sing the song of our people, or actually go for Dirge of Doom. Lower their reflex saves for fireballs and whatnot. You can turn this off. You can go in. You guys can go. You come over here. Oh god, there's another one there. Okay, so I want, like, this... Actually, just go for a fireball. We have resistance anyway, so... Even if I hit some of my people, it should be fine. Okay, let's, let's all focus on the Cyclops, please. Tossing a fireball... Good! Wait, people. Okay. Focusing on the leopard. <laughs> knock knock just rips him up. I love it. I love knock knock. It, it is it is somewhat tough keeping him alive on unfair. I will I will say that much. It's probably not even advised, but I just like him. And he can deal so much damage. Though, you know what they say, he can't deal damage if he's dead. It also applies to our party members, so... We do need to be careful about Mr. Knock Knock. Don't hesitate. Where to now? Listening as hard as I can. 
Stop right clicking. <laughs> Transmuter, let's focus on him first. Do not hold um, you guys are charging, yeah, yeah. Cutting slow. <laughs> Nay. No slow for you. Okay, so I think we are done. Unless there are some enemies over here. Nope. Only this corner left to explore. Maybe also that one. Okay, we are fine. Without a doubt. All enemies have been cleared. No deaths, even though there were some <clears throat> some dangerous moments there, I will I will say that much. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Ooh, raise dead. Nice. Very useful. Hila! A huge scar crosses the face of this sturdy silver haired woman. I I was playing with my notebook on my in my lap. There is no further need for that. Um a huge scar crosses the face of this sturdy silver haired woman. An eye patch hides her left eye while right shines with silver. She raises her bloody blade in a salute. You came just in time. We owe you one. Who are you? I am Hila the Tooth Grinder from the Tiger Lord's tribe. This is my war party. We're here uh, fighting things, as you can see. Are you an Azimar? What? Don't that look like a Celestial? <laughs> yes, I'm an Azimar. No idea which of my great grandmothers made it with a Celestial, but in my entire lineage, the blood only manifested in me. I'm sure that was the plan all along. It's a common custom to strengthen the bloodline with the blood of orcs or whatever powerful beings come in handy. My birth was deemed a good sign and proof of the god's blessing. But I call it bullshit. The god's blessing should be earned on the battlefield. So what are you doing here? What do you care? We came here so we obviously have business here. What about you? What are you doing here? Well, the face sister sent me. Ah, I see. It was a good call. They may be witches, but they're smart. We really need extra hands here. Here's the deal. We came with one of the witches to look for some trash in the tomb. We set camp and the sister took some of my people to the ruins around dawn. Never came back. Instead, these zombie cyclops started crawling out on us from all over the place. Fun day, huh? My group can't afford to be separated now. We only barely fought those things off. So how about this? You scout the place and look for our people, find out if any of them are still alive, and I'll pay you in gold. Deal? Sure, deal. Great, so I've killed them all, but I guess I still haven't found what I need to find. Do you know anything about what happened in Varnhold? Varnhold? May got a Varn's village? No idea. Varn's a weakling, I used to knock him flat on his back. All his folks too. You want real fighters, you go for Numerians. Okay, thanks dude. Not really what I was looking for. <clears throat> I'm looking for uh, chests and locked things and whatnot. Barbarian was killed very recently. Let, let me loot him. Thank you. Focus. I think you also have this trick here to quickly loot everything on the map. So I can clear out uh, what's in the area. I just cannot press collect all because if I do I think I'm going to leave. Okay. <clears throat> Bear with me a moment here please. Ancient Cyclops coin. Interesting. These axes are actually useful because they are a masterwork. They sell for a little bit. As well as these items as well. And plus one axes. Another item for the storyteller. Some gold, masterwork, half plate, sell for 150. And worry not as I will drop a lot of this worthless armor on the floor in a second. The reason why I'm not pressing collect all is because if I collect all, the game will automatically take me away from the level. <clears throat> Which, you know, it, it wouldn't be 
any issue, I guess, but I, I want to skip that loading screen. Probably by taking more time doing this manually, I know, but... I'm, I'm doubling down, you know? Sunken cost fallacy and whatnot. That's me. That is me. On the other hand, I can look and see what I pick up. Which sometimes can be a little bit... Um, you can miss stuff if you just press collect all. And then you wind up looking at your inventory sometime later and you'd be like, Wait, I have a, a plus four intellect thingy on my, on my storage? How? And yeah. Probably because of a collect all. And the reason why I'm doing this, by the way, is that now, if I open my map, it doesn't show <clears throat> as much loot icons on the floor. It only shows the stuff that you have to kind of pick up by hand. Such as, you know, uh, chests. Uh... Oh, uh, such as chests and um, containers and whatnot. Okay, let me see if I can do it as well. So, no! Uh, that was really not what I wanted to do. Not at all. It's a good thing I picked up everything one by one, isn't it? I wanted to save some time uh, in order to drop some stuff on the floor, but... That was not the, the correct move. Let me see if I can do it here. Because moving while over encumbered is not fun. As I'm sure it's plainly obvious to see for everyone. I'm I found oh. This requires your attention. It's trapped. Interesting. Not not ears. With ears. I did it. Good job. I did. Nobleman's amusement. I can see. No, I can't do what I want to do. I needed like a corpse or something. Okay. It will take a lot longer like this. Drop, drop, drop. Isn't this fun? At least not in Wrath of the Righteous they stack items, I believe. Which makes it a lot simpler to deal with this crap. Okay, this one is a plus one. These are not, so these can go. Heavy shields are also very heavy, as the name implies, so they go away. All of this very heavy stuff that's kind of worthless, we will drop. And now we're at medium encumbrance, which means we can just continue. Um, okay, let's go over here. Over here. And I think our main goal is going to be in this area here. I think there's like the door to a tomb there. Is this locked? Yes, it is. Knife is for I will stab. not falter. Pick is for lock. Knife is for stab, pick is for lock. That's right. That is right, knock knock. I will guide. Did it without breaking it. Okay. What was the difficulty of this? Thirty-eight. Okay. Work pelts. We have some more items over there. Let me just see if there's a perception check around here. The animal was killed with a single devastating blow, I'm guessing from a cyclops. But yeah, I think the most dangerous area here is this corner, where you, where you get kind of ambushed from all sides. More money is always welcome.
Another one of those. Barely legible letters are carved in this stone. I think we're gonna be here later as well for another quest. <clears throat> I think Tristin's quest. Not locked. Good. Adamantine Falcata plus three. Damn. It's not a bad weapon, I will say. It is not a bad weapon. Who's there? Let us know how this magic should be used in the living as hard as I can. I did it. I did. I did it. I did. Focus on the goal. Yeah, this door here. We disarm the trap over here. There's something over there. Something over here as well. This seems to be locked. Our time has come. Not not here's. Yep. <clears throat> Carry on. Together we stand. Where now? Rage Claw. It's a long sword. A lot of a lot of unique items here. Okay, we are about done. This is what I dropped. So ignore that little symbol. I can see my destination. Okay. So I'm gonna go over here. I think we're gonna rest. I'm not actually sure if we if we need to rest for where we're going. It might actually just be a, um, a non-combat area, but I'm not exactly sure if that's true. So we're gonna play it safe. Focus on the goal. Okay, still nothing here. So first of all, let's look at what we picked up. <clears throat> so, um, newest to oldest. Rage Claw, Long Sword, plus two. Furious and Adamantine. Furious, I think, is a, like a, a barbarian thing, right? A furious weapon serves as a focus for its wielder's anger. When the wielder is ranging or under the effect of a rage spell, the weapon's enhancement bonus is plus two better than normal. And it's also Adamantine. Pa pa pa. Other armor, Falcata plus three, ancient scrap, blah blah blah. Cameberry pie, a, mu a nobleman's amusement. Let's compare it with this one here. <clears throat> so I have Devourer of Metal, which is likely the best one I can get the entire game. Um, this one is a longbow, not composite. This plus one longbow grants its wielder the effect of point blank shot and precise shot feats. That's actually quite cool. Yeah, so if you want somebody to, you know, shoot into combat and they don't have point blank and precise shot, this is a way you can do it. But honestly, if you've come up to this point and your party members are trying to use ranged weapons without point blank shot or precise shot, I think... I, I think there's something wrong there. <laughs> I think there is something wrong there. Headband of Vast Intelligence plus four. I already have my Herbalist Cape. That's why I'm not using it. Okay. And... This is very nice. Scroll of Ray is dead. And this would not be bad for Cordampina. Just because it would modify the damage she deals a little bit. And since we're buffing with Bull's Endurance, I don't really need the Constitution here. Let me see if she's buffing herself with, with Bull's Endurance. Or Bull's Strength, sorry. 
mirror image, feather step, good hope, shield, mirror image, blur, blur, effortless, bless, enlarge, seal of faith, what? Bull strength. Yeah, she is casting it on herself. I will see this through. So if she's casting it on herself, if I really wanted an, an extra level 2 spell slot, I could take one of these out. I think for right now I'll just keep it like this, because if we get ambushed I would like her to have the plus 4 uh, constitution more than the plus 4 strength. Okay, So we should be good, we're gonna rest. Hello? Here. We have these barbarians, so if we get ambushed, hopefully they can help us out. Jump, jump. Okay, good. Now, again, I may be buffing here for no reason. Um, I'm not, I don't remember if this is a peaceful area or if it's a combat area. But the one thing I know for sure is that if, if there's a chance for it to be a combat area, I don't want to go and face off against Cyclops without being buffed. That I, I know for absolute certain. I think I'm gonna fight like one or two Cyclops here. If I remember this right. Medium. I think I might even have just knock knock fighting defensively to be honest. Gaining plus 3 bonus to AC. He does sacrifice quite a bit of uh, attack bonus, but he has a lot as well. Well, not that much. Plus 22, plus 22. Hmm. Okay, let's keep it as is. I will not falter. Let us not hesitate. I am your shield. Together we stand. Give the order. Okay. <clears throat> A huge stone slab blocks entrance to the tomb. The ancient stone surface is covered in ward inscriptions, barely visible beneath the moss. We have a knowledge check here, world of 30. Read the inscriptions on the door. Oh, what? Dude, what do you mean, man? I rolled above. What do you mean? <laughs> okay. Is it like uh, lore, lore reason you always fail this or something? You said to be a symbol for, uh, on the, the Warren Stone for a long, long time, but they just won't reveal their secrets. Wait a moment, I think I can understand some of this. Let me see. Cruel and evil go into the blind darkness, while kind and merciful go into even deeper darkness. Impenetrable blackness, darkness opens every door. Wise and stupid, lewd and ascetic, there's not a single path in this world that won't lead into ultimate darkness. Okay, I'm kind of upset that I, that, that didn't give me experience, but whatever. 
Examine the entrance. The crumbling ancient stone is densely covered in, with thick moss. Near the edge of the slab, some of the moss has been torn. Some unknown force must have moved it aside and then replaced it. Okay, let's just detect magic here. The door radiates a faint transmutation aura. We could try to pry the door open, we could try to break the door open, or we can speak the word Keb, the password that the sister gave us the last episode. The slab slides aside easily and noiselessly, noiselessly, making a crack wide enough for you to enter. The faced sister. Before you have a chance to take a single step, a voice calls out from inside a tomb. Wait, do not enter. Prop the door a little close behind you. Unwilling to tempt fate, you move a large stone to the entrance and prop the door open. Okay, let's enter. After ensuring the slab won't close itself behind you, you step into the damp, cold darts of the tomb. Alrighty. Forsaken Mound. Hmm. Defacé Sister. I am yours to command. The only breathing creature in the ancient tomb is a miniature woman. Miniature? Wrapped in grey cloak, she looks like a ghost herself. Who are you? I'm one of the defaced sisters, a humble servant of benevolent spirits. No words can express my gratitude for saving me. What is this place? Once, Cyclopses used to own these lands, but their race was doomed to extinction. Their fortresses and palaces crumbled into dust, and only tombs remain. What are you doing here? Same as you, searching for the truth. My fate brought me here and opened the door before me. I didn't know it would slam shut behind my back. If fate didn't bring you here right after me, I would soon fall asleep beside the owners of this tomb. Okay, do you know anything about what happened in Varnhold? Varnhold? I don't know much about the place, but ice cold winds of ill fate blow over it. If my sisters are still alive, we can tell you more together. Does the word Vordakai mean anything to you? Lips of mortals didn't utter this word for thousands of years. It would be for the best if it remained so. Don't worry about this shadow of the past. It dispersed forever the day the sky fell upon the earth. We can attack her, kill her, or we can say, your sister has sent me, she's waiting for you in the camp. And like I said, these are normal. These are normal, benevolent people. They have nothing, we have nothing to fear from them. They are our friends, so we're gonna save them. And I'm sure they will help us out in the future. Thank you. I was afraid I'd never see her again. Let benevolent spirits guide you on your path. Let them help you, just like you helped me. The woman gives you a bow and leaves the tomb. Okay, so yeah, maybe <clears throat> buffing here was unnecessary. A stone face gazes at you from the wall. But like, for some reason, I, I think there's gonna... I'm still not convinced. I'm not convinced. Invis yourself, please. Um, go over there. Okay. That's something. Listening as hard as I can. You bitch, I knew it. My skills are getting rusty. I will not falter. We'll do it the hard way. Okay. There might be more than one. Okay, no, no, people, chill. Chill, people, chill. Kitty cat, bite! Where is he going? I think he's going for the... Yeah, he was going for the place of the trap. Holy crap! This... How did this happen? Oh, okay. Th 
This guy moved away, triggered an attack of opportunity, got killed, and then cleaving finished, got him an extra attack. Okay. Skeletons not being as helpful as they should be. <clears throat> Was this the only enemy here? Okay. Good. I had a feeling. The container is full of sealed clay jars, each decorated with pictures of internal organs. Wonderful, isn't it? This door cannot be opened. It's fake, just a carving on the wall. I will guide. Alrighty. Oh, hello. Corrosive Tongi plus two. Well, we use our buffs, but we're good. We're gonna report back to the barbarian. See if she has I was right something when I to say. I saw you the first time. You're a thief, same as every one of your kin. What did I thief, Raven? You think you've done a right thing, saved a life, but all that you did was help a thief ah. take what wasn't hers in the first place. You're no better than that filthy creature. Filthy. Words, 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 words. <laughs> not, not used to long shanks talk and talk, but fat, tasty feather bags talk now. Soon stones start yapping too. You'll see. Why are you following me? What do you want? I have watched you, your behavior, your deeds. Don't flatter yourself thinking your actions are impressive. You're an oddity, a curiosity, a mark. Nothing more. I'm not gonna answer allegations, Crow. Be gone. Pride in a pathetic creature like you. You wear it poorly. And your attempts to give me orders? I think not. Enough. I'm leaving. Run. Run for cover. Cower in your shelters like vermin. You won't escape the truth wherever you hide. It is always with you. Yeah, we're not going to give him our name. Farewell. Bye, bitch buddy. Wait, why can't I move over there? Ah, okay. The, the map was being buggy. Hila! Ah, there you are. Good job. A shame the rest of the group is gone, but at least the witch is intact. Here, for your trouble. We should leave now. Visit our camp sometime. We'll share a drink. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> and I think we will do just that. Uh, well, not share a drink, but visit their camp because they do have a merchant there. And a merchant would help <coughs> clean out a lot of this stuff here. These are worth 3 gold, 5 gold, 25 gold. I guess I can pick these up. Do I really need this 25 gold each? I don't. But if I can carry it, I will. Oh, and yeah, looking at the time, I think this will be a nice place for us to stop this episode. Uh, we basically cleared out the entire city of Hollow Eyes. We killed every single enemy in the area. We took care of uh, the quest to help or kill the defaced sister. In this case, I saved her. We helped the barbarians find the missing sister. And now we are basically on our way back to the Khaled Barbarian camp to sell off the loot. And then we're going to continue on to the other mentioned places like the Sepulchre of Forgotten Heroes as well as the Forsaken Mound. Might make a stop uh, for my kingdom management, maybe, we'll see. But yeah, this will, fit, this will be it for now, my friends. As always, I want to thank you all for being here with me in the channel, watching some Pathfinder Kingmaker. Questions, suggestions, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more. Many more views coming out soon, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, 
Stay safe, everyone.